Camera shy Karen's trying to ram a blogger with her car. Driver Karen's kicking a bus driver out of the bus. Random Karen's getting annoyed by a dog. Stay tuned to enjoy Karen losing her mind. Camera shy Karen's having a huge problem with this guy recording her. So now she's trying to ram him with her car. Give him a break, Karen. Boys. Did he express to you? We're in the middle of taking audio and video. So we're not interested in having a conversation right now. Is that okay with you? No, it's not okay with me. It's not okay with you that I'm not interested in having a conversation with you? You're going to force me to? You better take that mask off and a little oxygen into the brain there. I don't know what's going on. You feeling okay? Whoa, what, the what are you out of your my lady? Yeah, I'm out of my what you mind. Do? What am I gonna You're do? You're gonna hit me with your car? Are you out of your mind? Are you serious? Do you have any idea that you can't sit there and take photos on federal property? Why don't you go call the cops? Giving... Why don't you go call the cops and I'll show them the video of you trying to hit me with your car and we'll get you arrested. How about that, smart? How about that? Back away from me. I'm Back telling you right now, you? stop walking up to Back me. Back away from you? Yes. Hey. Back away from me. Get in your car. Listen to him and get, get in your car, car and go home. What they're doing is constitutionally protected. Get in your car and leave. I almost saw you hit him with your car. I don't take orders from schmoes like you boys. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to take orders from you and answer your stupid questions. Get in your car and get out of here. You cannot photograph people. I'm doing it right now. What are you going to do about it? Public. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Stupid mistake, lady. Kevin ate at this sandwich shop three weeks ago. Now he's telling him their food is too spicy. You sure took your time, Kevin. I got a meatball or instead of a meatball. It made me sick because it's spicy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this was my subway. I know. I'll go to Prescott from now on. I know. I know that. You're okay with me just going to Prescott? You don't need my business? Is that it? No, I want you to come here, but there is. You called me after one week, ten days. You tell me. You don't think it's your responsibility to let customers know it's spicy? No, if you don't ask me if it's spicy or not, if you tell me it's spicy and I say no, and if it's spicy, it's my mistake. But if you don't ask me if it's spicy or not, and you order a meatball, meatball, or I make it for you. I ordered a meatball. They made it a meatballer. I asked the difference. They said it had salon, uh, pepperoni and it had the mozzarella. Yeah, okay. And that was it. No one said anything about spicy. I don't ask, I mean, I didn't ask to put any kind of peppers or anything on it because I stay away from spice. I'm still telling you, if you are not going to ask if it's spicy or not, it's not your that. responsibility is what you're telling me. It's the customer supposed to say, oh, by the way, is anything spicy here? Is this what you're telling me? I'm recording you now. What are you going to do about it? Sure, it's up to you now. You said that he, I he has right. nothing to do if, if, if with he wants... the order you made last, last two months ago. Two months ago. wasn't two months ago. But you called me two weeks ago and you told me I ordered one month, one week ago. Yeah. Now, so three what weeks. is the point? Is what is the point? Whatever you want to do, say. Yeah. I you have, provide cannot. horrible customer service. It's up to you. Have a good Thank day. You, my these passengers have been trapped on the plane for 13 hours. Now, one of them is slapping the captain. Whoa! Please, please, let's you want a line? Whoa! This mom's been robbed by her own son. He stole $2,000 from her. If that's how he treats his mom, imagine how he treats the rest of us. So irritated right now. My son sit up here and literally took $2,000 off my credit card. That's my rent money. That's everything. Everything. He gotta go. I just put him out. He's 16. I already done sit there and told him. I really feel like calling the police. That's why I came live so I can calm down. 
I really just feel like calling the police at this moment. You really took some money off my car to go sit up there and do some a, a little girl? Y'all, I am so mad right now, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do. My feelings hurt every day. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. Like, I never thought that he'd sit up there and do something like that. I never thought that he'd sit up there and do something like that. Like, when I got the notification earlier, I literally, when I sit up there and I got the notification earlier, y'all. The notification was basically saying, like, did I purchase this? But I didn't sit up there and pay attention to it. You feel me? Like, I didn't even worry about it or nothing like that. I, he he got to go. He waiting on his daddy to come pick him up right now. He has to go. He got to go. He got to go. Like, you don't do that. Like, he got, like, he his mouth, he's being disrespectful, all of that. So, you got to go. You got to go. You have to go. You got to go. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't have no more money. Like, I called my bank. My bank sit up there and told me I got to wait until Monday. They froze my account. They completely froze my account. So, can't nobody else use it. But I can't get that. He needs to get away from my door. He not getting back in my house. He not getting back in here. I do not care. Get away from my door, little boy. See, you see how disrespectful he is? That's why my dog sitting here barking. He is so, he's being so disrespectful. Since he's been talking to this little girl, he's been disrespectful. He's been out the chain disrespectful. I'm about to call the police. I'm, I'm giving you a chance and letting your dad come and get you. Get away from my door. This kid has no respect for older people, not even one of his friend's moms. This is how he talks to her on the bus. Don't raise up on me. How about you sit Don't down? Don't raise up on sit me. Sit down. Make me sit down. Sit down. Make me sit down. Get out of my face. Are you, you crazy, crazy, little boy? Are you crazy because you're feeling about a little boy? Are you dying? But you're yelling at everybody on the bus. You crazy? You can't just be yelling, yelling, yelling at everybody. What's wrong with you? No business. That's what's wrong with me. Not no business. You sit down. No. You need to ride the short bus to school. That's what you need. The short bus. Driver Karen is kicking a bus driver out of the bus. No. Get out the bus. Get out! I'm driving. Get out! Get out! You're not getting on the phone. Call Phoenix cops. Take me to Beacon. Do you understand? I am CA for two many years. Didn't know it. You're gonna find my real car right now. I'm trying to help you through it. Help you. I don't have things on you. This dentist is disrespecting mom for not brushing her kids' teeth. So who do you guys think is wrong? Let us know in the comments below. And you have the nerve to be a baby. Who the f are you? No, no, no. That was Run me my money. Run me my money. Run me my money. Run me my money. Stop talking. Don't yell, Stop yelling. Have a seat. Run me my money. You should have never said anything like that to begin with. You should have never said be a better mom. Who said that? Run me my Mom, money. Stop talking. So why did you charge her? I didn't. Um, for emergency, um, Hazel charged her. her. Yeah, her. I'm gonna return it. This whole you clinic is getting shut down. You, know you what? tried what? the shit out of me. Now the kids stop here. talking. Stop. stop talking to my sister. You're gonna talk to me. My sister's in labor. You told her to be a better mom because she asked you. Does her daughter have gender bias? A nurse asked you a you question and you couldn't answer. Now the kids stop talking. That was my mistake. No matter what. What, what mistake did you just make? What mistake? That was disrespectful. We waited for you in the room, didn't do anything disrespectful, and you started being rude talking about be a better mom. You're not a dentist. Nobody told you to diagnose. You're not a doctor. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? You lost every right to speak after you said that. Now I'm talking. I don't want to hear shit. I gotta say no apology, no nothing. And this is why they think black people's ghetto as because you want to be 
like that. Okay. Then I'll tell you stop talking to my sister. I apologize. I do not know how to treat her. I apologize. So then say that. I will try to be a good. Say that in front of a board. Go say that in front of a board. Stay board and say you don't know how to treat a patient that comes into your room. A two year old talking about be a better mom. I will you up. Say that again. A two year old, a lady that's in fucking labor. And you're talking about being a better mom. We're supposed to be in the hospital. She came and stuck in with her child first. I know. She's in labor. Can I talk really quick? Now, don't you have Catherine? In labor. Oh, no. And you're talking about being a better mom? No. What the f are you? I, right now, I'm the only thing. This guy's dog is annoying random Karen. Karen, as usual, is making this very, very clear. Some people, my dog gets crazy. Well, obviously, the f he not, because he just right. jumped on me. And like I'm saying, you're I'm not overreacting. I am okay. allergic to dogs, and your dog That's just wonderful. jumped on me. So overreacting. No, the f I'm not. I don't care. So I apologize. Get you keep their dog. Done. First of all, you so cannot control your dog. I watched your dog go in this lady's bag and all of that. No, the f I'm not. Y'all do too much. What these dogs on the train? Y'all do too much. You're still overreacting. No, the f I'm not. And if you recorded me, I hope you're not recording me because I'm not talking to you no more. Oh, but your problem was with me, right? Oh, but I just told him if he recorded me. So shut the up. Really, miss? Exactly. Really? Do you need to go that far? Yes. You're overreacting. No, the I'm not. Yes, you are. That dog just came on me. That's no such thing as a Stop recording me. And has my dog guy just told you to stop recording me. I'm like, this package delivery driver is having an argument with an apartment tenant. The tenant is accusing the driver of parking in her designated spot. Please tell us whose side you're on. Now, this is what I have to deal with at work. <laughs> but you're able to talk on the phone while you're at work. That's so interesting. Yeah, because you was recording me. So I'm recording you now. You can report me. What, what are you reporting? The I thought recording. Great. So I'm trying to get information, and you are not providing it. Would you I like thought you go through the Amazon out. No. Nope. I need to know your name or ID number. I need to know your supervisor. My name, name is Sharon Smith. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and put that down. Sharon Smith. All right. I can't give you the other information because I don't know the other information. Uh, I doubt that. But you can go through the Amazon app, file, uh, file a complaint, and no, okay. it'll be like that. Okay. That's it. That's not going to work. You, okay. don't, you don't recognize who you're speaking with, do you? No, I really, sure don't, don't. I really don't care. I know you don't. Do you know that it says resident parking only? I'm speaking to you. Have a nice day. So you know I've got all your information. In That's fine. It's, it's a parking lot. I ain't did no. nothing wrong. Yes, you did something wrong. What I do? You were extremely rude. You made me wait. It says condo parking only. You've taken two spots, and there's plenty of parking over there. Okay, so why didn't you park over there? I live here. Okay, just, I'm, I'm just delivering a package. I know, but you don't have to be rude about it. And you I don't have to rude. You don't have to take two spots, and you don't have to continue to make someone wait. Okay. You yes. saw me pulling in. Have a nice day. You Here's Kevin and his son, Kevin Jr., going off on a deer hunter for hunting deer. Whose side are you on? Because I eat them. Why? Because I what eat the them. Do to you. All right, you're on video. I eat yeah. them. You eat? Do you eat, buy meat from the supermarket? Yeah, but we're yeah. not going. To you know they get, they yeah. get even, they get in dirty areas, nasty, a whole bunch this of not a dirty, nasty blood area. leaking. That's why I'm saying. That's why you don't want that. You know, you're like, you're like a hero on Long Island right now. What? Because kids are upset. They're crying because you want to deer. I'm sorry that they're animal. crying. You need to explain to no, them that it's like part of life. No, why don't you go, Luke? Get away. Excuse me, please Do don't hit my car. Do you have a pet? Yep. How would you like to see your you pet? Like, you're, you're, Deer's you're a pet. A man that you How, have to go out and hang out in somebody's neighborhood right now. I'm not trying to do anything bad. Why don't you go somewhere else? Yeah, you are. I'm not trying to do anything you're bad. You're using a weapon to an alive animal. Okay, and I'm going to eat it. Instead, you let somebody you're else. Not, it. No, you're not. Like you. I'm not going to eat it. Dude, we don't want to see it. Well, then go what away. are you hunting for? All right, the oh, guy is coming here on the way now. The officer is on the way. Great. I don't care. Okay. Leave. You could have your cell phone on you. 
Please. Hi. Okay. Yo, you're really, now. You're, you're really, you really. You're an asshole. Fuck you. You're a hero. You're a hero. Karen's an expert at spoiling our fun, but this skater's gonna have a good time anyway. I do understand. We, we've come a long way to get this. We're right here. I'm sorry, you're not allowed We're right here. This, this build-up. Cody, will you come on out? There's a whole film crew that will not leave the 20. All right, well, you can move. Well, I'm about to go do it right there. There's a, there's, we can call the sheriff. It's not. You can be right there, Cody. I'm about to go right there. Do you want to get hit or not? You can call the police. Cody, they're being quite belligerent. Just, but we only... No, you don't. You don't legal, understand. Legal no, there's no legal ramifications because yes, we're gonna. There is. There's one more try and then we're out. No, we're. You're using. You're using crazy words. We're not. He's gonna go next. He's gonna go next to it. Right there. Will you call the sheriff, please? There's someone here threatening to move our vehicles and they've got a whole film crew. Call the sheriff, please. Just go for it. Get off my cart. Call the sheriff, please. This person's being belligerent. Not belligerent. Right next to it. You got this. Go to, go to the side of it. You're gonna want to stand back. He's he's paddling. He's paddling. Yeah, Cart narks picking on Kevin for refusing to put his cart back. Let's just say this relationship is not made in heaven. It's not okay. You let your cart out in the middle of the spot. Yeah. Cart returns right behind you. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm in a hurry. Where are you going so fast? Uh, I got to get a battery. Oh no! Is the battery store closed in like two seconds? It's 5:30 and it's way up there. So. Oh yeah. Well, maybe you shouldn't have stopped at the grocery store first. No, no, I'm fine. I should stop whenever I feel like it. Your job is to collect. No, no. My job is to knock you out. I'm in the car. Oh. See, that attitude's getting you a hood magnet of the shame, sir. Arrest me for what? Arrest you for vandalism and criminal trespass. What's the trespassing? This is a publicly accessible right space. Now, touching my property. It's not trespassing. It is trespassing. I can show you the law. I'll, I'm happy to see it. Will you present the I'm law? I'm not going to do that right you now. You just said you would show please me the law. Please quit harassing me. Please take your car back. I'm asking you to please quit I'm harassing me. I'm asking you to take me. your car back. Which quit is, harassing see, me. You're throwing around, you throw out a lot of legal words that you don't know the meaning of. I, I know the law real good. Well, I want to see it. You real said you show it to me. I'm, I'm, Listen, yes. quit harassing me. I'm going to ask you, you are assaulting me. This is a third degree assault. Do you know right what? Now. I think, I feel like you maybe read the law once. No, no, no. I'm studying it big time. Please quit harassing me. What does big time mean? Quit harassing me. Why are you yelling? Quit harassing me. Why are you? Please leave me alone. Please let me leave. You're you were stopping me from How leaving. How so? How so? You were stopping. You were holding on to my car right over Wh there. Can a person okay? hold your car? No, you cannot touch my car. That's no, no, I'm saying, can, can a person physically you hold your car? I said? Sir. You cannot touch my car. Of course I can. You Look at that. Look what I did. I just touched it. That is trespassing. No, it's not, sir. Me, yes, it is. Sir, did you go to Lazy Bones Law School? Because that's what it sounds like. Lazy Bones Law School. This guy's a real jerk. What's official oppression? It is you cannot have and harass people like this on a public access space. Sir, then why would I be arrested? Huh? Why shouldn't I? I didn't say that. You cannot harass people. What's the penalty? Leave me alone. What's the penalty? Leave me alone. Sir. It's a felony. I don't think it I is. can do a citizen's arrest on you You're, right now. Would you like to try it, sir? I, no, I don't want to waste my time with you. Just sir, leave me away. You just wasted the past six minutes your of your name? time. Just uh, look, buddy. Um, I'm going to sue you guys, just so you know. I created hatred. I create love and help. Just put your card away and have we have no problem. Thank you. Who are you, by the way? I'm your assistant, sir. Well, no, that, that's. Frank. It's not a prank. It's not a it's prank. It's not a prank. I don't know this guy, by the way. Go for it, dude. No, no, don't. Get, please, go please. Go <laughs> no, please, no, please, please, please. No, we just want to go for it. We want to spread the awareness. Real quick, hold on, my it keeps dying on me. Okay, real quick, uh, because the Dude, GoPro keeps the dying on me. First time I've, ever, I've seen all your videos. I honestly I don't know this shit. guy. Uh -oh. hey. How's it going? Surprise! I <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me get this. I honestly don't know oh, this man, no, by the way. He's just on. a fan. I don't care. Big fan about it. No joke. I gave him our phone number, so give me a call, okay? You gotta put your put your energy towards better. But is, isn't putting your card back hey, a good I, thing? Chinese are going to be invading. Right oh boy! All right, I'm just, oh, okay. oh my god! I'll let you guys get out of here. <laughs> it takes all kinds. Hotels are supposed to be relaxing, right? But this guest wants to cancel her reservation because her friend got turned away. This is one big mess. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. Uh, so I booked a room here for tonight. Sure. What's your name? Uh, Jennifer Cleveland. 
But um, I'm gonna ask for my money back because my I'm here for my friend's funeral. Mm -hmm. She tried to book a room here yesterday. You guys wouldn't let her. Okay. And said because she lives within 50 miles of this place. Yeah, that is our company policy. And why is that? It's dictated by our owner. I, I don't know the owner. I've never met him. It's his policy. I just have to follow it, unfortunately. Um, so we don't rent to anyone that has a um, a valid, like with their valid ID. If that says they live in within Rutland County, we cannot let them stay. But her so, boyfriend was with her who doesn't live here. They had family staying at her mom's. That's why they had to get around. I understand around. that, but her name was the one on the reservation and she showed me that her driver's license said she lives in Rutland County, so unfortunately. Um, so back to you, uh, I cannot do anything with this. It has to go through management because it's a um, prepayment. Mm -hmm. um, so I can leave a note on here that you'd like your money back um, and then they can uh, handle that. Okay, and can I get the uh, number for your, whoever it should be talking to? There's a card to? right there. Yeah, because this is where we were all going to stay. We were all going to stay. It also has a no cancel policy on it. Right, because so. I thought everyone was going to be staying here. Now that the person we're all here to comfort it can't stay here, none of us are going to. Okay, well, that's fine. You can. You can uh, you're fine with that, that? You're fine with losing hundreds of dollars for. I have to policy. follow company policy. I'm sorry. Okay. And her dad died, and you're making this about what? I just don't, I think you could have made an exception. I'm I very, can't. can't. I have company policy that I am told that I have to follow as an employee of the hotel. I'm sure there was a phone call you can make. No, I'm sorry. It's company policy. Management has told me that there are no exceptions. So that is the company policy. I'm sorry. Is that Comfort Inn's policy or your owner's policy? Owner policy. Yeah, because I say I stay at a lot of Comfort Inns and none of them have that policy. None of them. I'm sorry. Our owner owns this place and his policy is no one that lives in Rowland County can stay here. And what's his name? Um, I'm not allowed to get all that information. What's we your have name? A, my name is Melissa okay. and we have a general manager. Her name is Lori and then there's an assistant manager named Nicole. And when will Lori be back in? Monday. Because, I mean, she kind of felt like, yeah, like she thought nobody was going to let her stay because her that husband, that like, way, she but... was doing, like, a two-hour quickie, like, hotel thing. No, like it has nothing to do with anyone personally. It has nothing to do with that at all. Like, it, it was literally like, somebody's in town for their dad's funeral and you couldn't make an exception? It just No, sir, ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's company policy. I have to follow it. Okay, I'm just saying it sounds ridiculous. Don't you understand that? I, I know you don't want to acknowledge it, but that lack of sincerity shows through. Just I'm sorry. I have company policy. I have to follow. I'm paid to follow company policy. I'm sorry. Well, we're all going to be going on Google and writing really, really, really rotten reviews because that you made her feel horrible. horrible. That is your the night before her father's funeral. I understand that. I'm sorry, but I have company policy. I have to follow. I'm sorry. Kind of laughed at the friendliest hotel in Russia. I know. <laughs> This cyclist has caught Kevin on camera. See what happens at the end? That's the best part. Are you a f***ing tank? No. Are you a car? No. You're a little bicycle, but you seem to want to be in the middle of the road. Okay. So that's your problem you get knocked off. Is it? Is it? That's very interesting. You're on camera. I'm going to put you on. I'm going to report you to the police. Go this on, is, then do it now. This tape do is going now. to go to the police. Do it now. You're a idiot. You Put me on where you like and I'll f*** and by the way, have you got insurance on your bicycle? No. Yeah. Bicycle, are you no. wearing a seatbelt? Are you a safety Are you person? wearing a seatbelt? No, you're not. No, you are no, not. No, because I've just took it off. No, exactly, and you're on the road. So there just it is. I've got you for two fences. Have you got a helmet on? No. I don't are have to a wear a helmet. No, but are you a sensible white? on camera. Excuse me. Would you like that broken? Would you like it broken? No, don't touch it. Would you like it broken? Don't. Right, well, get a f***ing life, or I'm going to sort you out and your f***ing camera. You've just committed an assault. You are really pissing me off. I know I am. You annoy people. And you, you do this for a hobby. I'm taking your camera. Right. Come on, Come on you can't. This guy's trying to charge his phone on the train, but Karen isn't allowing him to do it. Sorry, Karen, it's not a criminal offense. Here and I'm no, you were sitting over so there. You were over sitting here. over the other side. This not yours. This is not yours. This Listen, is not your you're space. Being a dumb not your space. You're being a dumb. You're being a, you're being a Karen. You're being stupid and ignorant.
ignorant. Okay. Keep it up. This see what happens. This is not your space. This is not yours. See what happens. Keep your hands away from my body. Keep your hands over there. That's not your Keep space. Your I am, not I am not Keep touching you. I am not touching you. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands the f over there. This is not your space. Are you so a I'm man? Gonna, I'm and gonna am put, I a female? I don't, Keep your f hands I'm gonna, over I'm gonna there. Put my, my, my Keep your f hands you don't over there. This I don't give a f what you're talking about. You Keep space. your f hands on your f side. Keep your f hands to yourself. Don't put your f hands over here. I don't give a f what you're trying to do. You got the right mother Because I'm not scared of you. Neither am I scared of you. Well, you're going to get arrested soon. Okay. Because you're in the wrong. You try. Keep your f hands you over try. there. You try. Keep your f hands you over there. You the your hands don't belong nowhere near me. In fact, I'm going to call a man and let you deal with a man. That's what we gonna do. Cause you wanna play games? Cause you see I'm a female and I'm harder than most dudes. So now I'ma call my people and okay. you deal with them. Dummy. All you had to do was sit there like everybody else and mind your business just like everybody Same else. Same as you, you have, just have to mind your own business. No, I'm just, no, no you just have to mind. Don't put your hands near me. I am just putting my don't phone over there. Don't put your hands near me. I am just me. putting my phone don't, over there. I don't give a about your phone. Don't I'm put just your hands putting my over phone here. over there. Don't put your hands Because you don't own this space. You're a This Airbnb guest is refusing to leave even though her time is up. Get out of there, Karen. Don't trust no Airbnbs. Okay. There you go, y'all. Straight to the kitchen. I ain't going nowhere. So deal with it. She disrespects you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I've been trying to do this the right way. I went down there and got the, <clears throat> the, the all the paperwork that I need to do to get her evicted out of my house, whatever. But that is a fucking process. I had to go through protocols and all the other stupid legal blase blase bull. And then I just got them. The police just like just left my house, and I'm like, get this out of my house. And I'm like, oh, she's a tenant now. She's a tenant. Oh, and the police, okay? My door. That's all I know. Your door? This is my house. How about you get the f out of my house? How about that's what you do? How about you get the f out of my house? How about you get the f out of my house? How about you get. This Instacart driver's just trying to do her job, but random Karen's harassing her, as usual. Yeah. So since I'm an African American female, I'm supposed to be a robber? Ma'am, I have a degree in criminal justice. I have a degree in criminal justice. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Like, lady, please. And I'm on the clock. I'm literally working for Instacart, sir. And I told her exactly where apartment I went in. And she is being very racist and very nasty. That's why I call for Ma'am, do not step up here. I, I, I was going to say, yeah. I think you should be able to leave. Yeah, she's blocking me in. I know. She won't let me no, leave, but the po I called the police, so they're on the way. So they're going to make her leave regardless. And I may just press charges because I feel threatened. Like she walked up on my car. Ma'am, please stop. Ma'am, please back up. Sir. Back up, ma'am. Back up, ma'am. Back up, ma'am. Please back up, ma'am. Would you, did you want to leave or do you want to wait for the police? I've been wanting to leave. All the reason I called the police is because the lady will not allow me to move. Um, The guy told me to park in gas. He told me to park in the guest parking. Doesn't that say guest? I, I had no idea. This is my first time being here. I guess, and that's fine. Right, and I can show you everything if you want to look on my phone. Oh, the card. Got a Oh, she didn't tell me she was with Instacart. She just did. I already did in the beginning. So, come on, sir. You can look at the groceries in the back. I said, I. It doesn't matter. You gotta let her. I have another. I have another delivery. She's holding me up. And how would an Instacart driver know that? Like, the guy told me to park in the guest and come up the stairs. This yeah. is the guest, and that's the stairs, like literally on the other side of that door. Yeah, um, she definitely. Uh, I think. Yeah, I said, ma'am, I'm not. I said, ma'am, I'm not robbing. Like, yeah. ma'am, don't look. Yeah, do come on now. Well, okay. all right. Well, <laughs> you're free to go and deliver the rest of your stuff. And Thank you. Auntie Karen's being extremely rude to her neighbors. Her poor nephew ends up having to apologize for her actions. I don't uh -huh. stop. I never stop. Yeah, you do. What, I you, do not. You think we bang on the ceiling for fun? You bang on my ceiling 
all the time. I am so you think tired we do it of it. For fun? You think we do it because we're bored? I am tired of you. Well, I'm tired of you, lady. I'm tired of having to listen to your crap every Mom. night. I don't do it every night. Every night. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? You need to get her, sir. You, you can get, get my ass. I am tired of you. Oh, thank you. I am not going hey, anywhere. Let me tell you something. My kids are asleep. Get your ass back upstairs, lady. I am so tired of you. Get upstairs. Go home. Honey. Go home. Hey, you need to get her. I'm going to call the cops. You need to get her. Come on, honey. Call him for what? Because, because, you're, I, because, because you're on my I'm doorstep screaming my at me. You're on my doorstep screaming at me and my father. Why did you come up asleep. to my house? I do. We you don't answer the door. Answer the door. Go, go home. Why go should home. I answer the door? Go home. So lady. you can call the cops? Listen, my kids are in here asleep. Go I don't home. Kids. I don't care about you. Do you know her? I know you don't care about me. You're my you're aunt. I just I'm stealing every night. Why should I care about you? Sorry about that. I'm so tired of you. You know her? Merry Christmas! She's, she's, she's my aunt. I just, I just got here. I... This woman has parked her converted school bus on a public street. Kevin's trying to chase her away, of course. Please don't talk to me. Yeah, we're part of Vermont. Essex, Burlington. Please don't talk to me. You parked out in front of my house. What do you mean? This is the street of a public park That's right here. House. Okay, there's a, a park right here. Who the f drives it? I do. By yourself with a dog? 100%. Keep on moving, man. I'm sorry, you can leave me alone. What are you recording? You! You're in front of my house. I'm not in front of your house. There's a park right here. Thank you very much. Vermont. Yes. So, so move on. Like, there's parking lots of shit over here where you can go. Please leave me alone, sir. I'm going to call the police for you. Call the this. police? You're in front of my fucking house, and you can record that shit all day. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. Okay. Call them police. Come okay. on. I will. Call the police. I will. Thank you. You're in front of my house. Please leave me alone. Pancho, come. Please leave me alone. Get the fuck on. You don't belong around here. Why? Why don't I? Go why somewhere else? Why don't I belong around here? For what reason don't I belong around here? How do you know I'm not from here? You're in front of people's houses right now. No, I'm not. There's a park right here, sir. Why don't Why don't I belong around here? Where, where's please, Where's public parking right here? Please tell there's me why. Please tell me why I don't belong what, around here. What, which, what are you putting it on? Listen, homie, move your van. Why don't I belong van. around here? That's all I'm gonna say. Just move your van. Home. Why don't I belong here? <laughs> move your van. You can move on, sir, please. Move, your van. move on. Great. Um. You need to leave, huh? What's going on? Um. The park. Oh, fuck. No, I, there. I, I'm calling to be. Um, there's two men that are harassing me outside of my bus right now. I don't know what street I'm on currently.